I grew up in a small town in Montana that lies very close to the Wyoming border. Yet, I was never told that there was a Japanese internment camp less than 40 minutes from my childhood home. This part of American history is not recorded in the history books that are used in our classrooms today. Unfortunately, I was an adult before I learned of President Franklin D. Roosevelt's Executive Order 9066. What I share with you today is a very brief history of the events that followed December 7, 1941, quoting Franklin D. Roosevelt, a date that will live in infamy. I will do my best to present the information objectively and without bias. If you are interested, you can research and learn more about it in greater detail. In the very early morning hours of December 7, 1941, Japanese planes attacked the United States Naval Base at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. The damages were catastrophic. More than 2,300 Americans died that day. The following months brought increasing hysteria. America had joined World War II, and Americans, as well as the American government, had lost trust in the people of Japanese descent. Rumors spread, fueled by prejudice of a plot among Japanese Americans to sabotage the war effort. Many shop owners tried to prove their loyalty to their government, but despite their efforts, the racism and prejudices grew stronger. Many Americans would no longer do business with the Japanese Americans. On February 19, 1942, Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066, which forced all Japanese Americans, regardless of loyalty or citizenship, to evacuate the West Coast. Ten internment camps were established in California, Idaho, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, Arizona, and Arkansas, eventually holding 120,000 Japanese Americans. The Japanese were given anywhere from a week to a few hours to evacuate their homes. They were allowed to bring whatever they could carry. Some had time to sell their businesses at far less than their value, while others had to just walk away. Their homes and farms were taken over and their belongings stolen. They were loaded on trains and cattle trucks and sent to the internment camps to ensure that they were not spies who were plotting against the United States. Upon the arrival at the internment camps, the buildings were not ready. The Japanese Americans were put to work creating the bunk houses that they would be subjected to living in for the next three years. The camps were surrounded by barbed wire fences and guarded by soldiers with guns. Executive Order 9066 was especially hard on those serving in the military. They could not believe that their loyalty was being questioned. After much debate, the Japanese Americans were allowed to fight for the United States. Many chose to join the military rather than go to an internment camp. The 447 Regimental Combat Team fought courageously to prove their loyalty to the United States. It is the most awarded combat team of the war. There were 10 Americans convicted of spying for Japan during World War II. However, not one of them was of Japanese ancestry. In 1988, the United States government made an official public apology to the Japanese Americans. 